Cards Against Humanity sues SpaceX. Crazy to me to think that SpaceX would just go on to other people's lands and like do all this stuff. Like it's completely insane. <laughs> that doesn't insane. sound crazy to me. <laughs> it's just so stupid. And I really hope that SpaceX gets hit pretty hard. Hello, how the tech are you? This is our weekly podcast on tech and science news. Uh, we talk about science, tech and science stuff and whatever kind of stuff we want to talk about. And uh, I am historian Matt. I am a producer and co-host on this show. My other co-host, we have one other co-host. He's, he'll introduce himself in his segment later. But I'm going to jump right into my one and only story this week. And it's a doozy. So I think we're going to end up talking about it a lot. But uh, it's basically Cards Against Humanity sues SpaceX. So uh, Cards Against Humanity is suing SpaceX over a plot of land on the U.S.-Mexico border in Texas. Cards Against Humanity is alleging that SpaceX illegally took over the land. The land this land that they're suing over is was purchased by Cards Against Humanity in 2017 as an attempt to block the uh, President Trump's border wall. He was president at the time. Cards Against Humanity took uh, $15 donations from 150,000 people to purchase the land. And they've mowed the land and maintained it in its sort of natural state. They didn't want to make a whole lot of changes to it, but they did seem to mark the perimeter of the property with a fence and a no trespassing sign. Uh, SpaceX apparently has invaded the land and put in construction equipment and material on it. So, uh, and they've, uh, they've also like, they didn't really pave a road, but they put down like gravel and stuff. Like they actually like destroyed the land there that they do not own. It's not clear why they do it, but, uh, cards against humanity claims that SpaceX made a low ball offer for the property after they were notified that SpaceX was on their land. Uh, with Cards Against Humanity quoting, they said it was less than half of our land's value. In the lawsuit, Cards Against Humanity seeks $15 million in damages. The money will uh, will be used to report and repair the property. And uh, in the backers of Cards Against Humanity who put up the money to buy the land could get up to $100 each if they win the lawsuit. So what do you think, HK? Uh, I, th- I think this is a pretty open and shut case, right? Cards Against Humanity owns the yeah. land. Uh, SpaceX is trespassing on their land. Yeah, I, it's crazy to me to think that spacex would just go on to other people's lands and like do all this stuff like it's completely <laughs> that doesn't insane. sound crazy to me <laughs> <laughs> i mean it is elon uh, musk right spacex um, doesn't really seem to like respect property uh okay. you know they they kind of just do what they want and uh you know how like there's this concept in business of like the cost of doing business i feel right. like spacex take takes the like repercussions of their actions just as like the cost of doing business right well especially right now like the government relies on them so they're gonna get bailed out yeah uh that's rather unfortunate because i think this should be like this should be a huge cost right yep Uh, i'm thinking like to be charitable what i'm thinking is happening and this is probably not i probably shouldn't be charitable but apparently like spacex bought a bunch of properties around this area and the only thing that i can think of is that they just got confused on which properties they own, which they don't and put stuff on the wrong property. Uh, I, I as, guess, but it's I mean, like a billion dollar somewhere. company. So you'd think they would figure they, they would know this stuff. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if there's a, a fence around it, then they would know that it's not their property, wouldn't they? Or I guess, you know, if they bought it, if they bought a yeah. bunch of property and didn't know which property had fences, I guess it could be a mistake. But then, like, if they're going to give them a lowball offer, that shows to me that, like, even if it was a mistake, they're not they, they're not seeking to make it right. Right. Well, hopefully they'll have to make it right by giving them lots of money. And getting off the property, I like. I, I don't know if you showed the images late lower in that article. There's a bunch of images of the actual uh, of what is on the land, like all this equipment and stuff, and it's crazy. And I'm kind of surprised, like you know, I'm surprised to put all that equip- equipment on there and then immediately get rid, you know, move it when they found out they're on the if they found out they're on the wrong property or something, <laughs> uh, because it seems like Holy Cards Against Humanity has would have a 
Well, they would probably want to talk to a lawyer, but they might have a legal right to all that stuff that they just put on their land, right? Like, it uh, seems like, well, maybe not the vehicles, right? But they could probably get the vehicles all towed. But if it, equip- if it was a, a mistake, I would, I don't know the law. So this is all just conjecture right here. But if yeah. it was an honest mistake, I would assume that they'd have some sort of like, you know, leeway window where Cards Against Humanity would say like, get your stuff off our land. And if they didn't do it within that time, then maybe Cards, I, again, I don't know how the law works. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's I don't know. I'm not a lawyer either. It just and yeah, I'm and well, I know that Cards Against Humanity is talking to lawyers because they hired some to, for the lawsuit. Uh, so uh, we'll see what happens with that. I'm. Um, this is just it's just so stupid, and I really hope that SpaceX gets hit pretty hard. Uh, yeah, and Cards Against Humanity wins the lawsuit and all the money that they're asking for. Yeah, uh, it is. Like I said, it's not shocking to me that SpaceX did that, but uh, it is kind of shocking that they're like they seem to be being pretty cavalier about it. So yeah, did you put any money towards this or not? Back, I remember hearing it back in the day. I don't remember. I don't think I had the option, or I found out about it after they stopped yeah. their. Uh, yeah, I found out about it after they were like, you know, already selling in stores. Thank you for watching. How the tech are you? We do this show every week, and we put it up on YouTube in multiple segments. If you like our show, you can check out our other shows at EchoplexMedia.com, and you can support us at Eplex.store and Patreon.com/Echoplex. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And another video for you will be up on the screen somewhere around here. And have a great tech in week.